Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a edge blend. So there are different kinds of edge blend. The first one is simple edge blend and variable edge blend, corner setback and stop shot corner and as well as uh, length limit. So we are going to create all these kinds of uh, edge blends by using this particular model. So now when I go to edge blend, so I'm going to hit uh, reset button and now you can see here uh, it is asking for a radius and edge blend so radius anyway you know that so you're going to give a radius and you're going to select a edge so this is going to be a simple edge blend so you just need to provide a radius and as well as one edge so one edge is minimum and suppose if you want to select a multiple edges you can just go here and select the multiple edges and it is going to create a particular edge blend okay so once you apply you click apply you can see here the edge blend is being generated for these three edges okay so now i'll just do ctrl z and i'll just go to edge blend and now suppose if you want to give a variable edge blend so what do you mean by variable edge blend suppose if you are giving a edge blend for one edge and from the start point if it is a 5 mm as a radius at the end point it will be different it will be different maybe it is 10 okay so in that case how you are going to do so suppose if you select this edge you can see here so in this point also it will be 5 mm and entire uh, edge it will be 5 mm as a radius so now we can just expand this and here you can see okay variable radius okay so here what you can do is you can just see here specify radius point so you can just select this and select your start point okay so this is my start point and you can just go here and you can see here there are there will be a multiple you know uh, list will be available here so suppose if you want to select a one more point you can just select it okay so these are the two points i have selected this is the first point you can see here this is the first point and this is the second point so in the second point i want to make a radius as 10 mm okay so now you can see here at this point it will be 5 mm and at this point it will be 10 mm so this is nothing but a variable edge blend so you are going to vary your edge blend according to your points suppose in the middle suppose in in this point suppose if you want a different edge blend so you can just make a create one point over here either you can reduce it or you can increase it you can see if i reduce it you can it will be like this and suppose if i want to increase here you can able to increase it and once you click apply you can see it is a variable edge blend so whatever the edge blend at this point is different at the middle it will be different at the end point it will be different okay so the next will be on corner setback so we'll just go to edge blend again and here you can see corner setback so in order to give you a corner setback you need to specify three edges that are meeting at one point you can see here these three edges are meeting at one point so i'm going to select this this and this okay so once this is selected you can see there is a corner so in order to create a setback for this corner you can just go to the select end point here and you can just select this point okay so once you select this you can see here three handles will be generated so you can just drag them and give a different value and you can create a corner setback okay so once you click apply you can see here the setback has been created so this way you can able to use a corner setback okay so the next of i'll just do ctrl z so the next option will be on stop short corner so you can see here there is a stop short corner so i'm going to select this edge okay and now let me go to stop short corner so it is going to stop your edge blend at any point say for example once you select this edge so the entire edge is going to create an edge blend but suppose if you want to you know stop this at any point in that cases you can use this stop short corner so you can just go to here and you can just create a point okay and once this point is created you can just move it okay so you can see here arc length so suppose if you want to stop it exactly at the 50 percent of arc length so you can just go to percentage of arc length and here you can just give it as a 50 percentage so suppose if the this edge is 50 mm at, at 25 mm there will be a edge blend which is stopped you can see here now so this is nothing but a stop short corner okay i will just do ctrl z and let me go to the last edge blend that is length limit so it works in the same way as the stop shot corner so how it has been stopped a corner so but in this case in the length limit we are going to provide a different kinds of spaces or some edges say for example i'm going to select this 
and now in a length limit i'm going to make it as enable so once you enable you can see here there is a plane option there is a face and edge blend so i'm going to select a plane and in this plane you can see here specifies plane so i'm going to create a plane with at distance okay i'm going to select this at a distance and from this face it will be some distance okay you can see here minus 8.5 mm so at minus 8.5 mm it will be stopped you can see here our edge blend will be stopped so you can move this particular you know particular datum plane and you can just create the edge blend so it is not always required to create an plane over here so if you already have an any plane or any face or any edge which is intersecting with your uh, particular edge blend so you can use that in your length limit so you can see here all the options are available and once you click ok you can see our edge blend is generated based on our requirement so this is how we can create different kinds of edge blends in nx guys suppose if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys